Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey YouTube, it's Mortimer, and welcome to a very special edition of Kitty Cat Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. And uh, Nintendo sent me this game early to show to you guys. Um, I'm hoping that everything goes smoothly with this upload. Um, I am a huge Animal Crossing fan, if you guys don't know. And you should check out my other Animal Crossing videos if you have the time, because I have a bunch up on my channel. And honestly, I just love Animal Crossing. I've been playing all of them since I was a kid, and it's just a series that I really enjoy. So to hear that they're expanding the series in a new way and something new and fun, I am so hyped. And the fact that Nintendo contacted me to play it even is like the coolest thing ever. Trying to find the remote, it's so loud. I guess it's not so bad. Today is the day our new employee arrives, yes, yes. The new addition should be here at any moment, so I shall use the time to double check the hiring forms. Hmm, now where have those hiring forms gotten off themselves off to? I'm certain they were right here. Pardon me, Lottie. Who's Lottie? Oh, oh, uh, this is our, this is our moment to shine here. Yeah, Nook, jeez. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Dude, I'm a girl. Yes, I'm certain. Oh shit, do we get to design ourselves? Oh my gosh! Wow! Okay, well... Huh. I like these eyes. And my eyes are green. And my skin is as pale as can be. And my hair is black. And... Let's see. This is a style I usually wear in Animal Crossing. So I might just go with that. Yeah, I'll just go with this one. It's what I normally use. That's me! Oh my gosh, so happy! Oh my god, Nook, of course. I've been here the whole time. So I don't know if I've seen the otter girl before. She doesn't look familiar. Maybe it's been a while for me. All right, I know you. Oh. And then no Digby. Lottie! <laughs> Who does Nook think he is? His tea time. Interior remodel on a client's home. You'll pick out a new wallpaper, a new carpet, some new furniture. Basically, you're going to give the room a complete makeover. There's a practice room all ready for you. I'll come along and teach you the basics. Before we get started, you should take this. There's a changing room upstairs, so head on up and change into your official uniform, Mortimer. I'll be waiting right here. Come and get me when you're ready. All right, so let's go upstairs, change it to our uniform. I see a lot of the uh, furnishings that they're using are stuff that I recognize. But I've never had to use a changing room before. Oh man, look, it's so fresh, so fly. What's up here? Oh, hey, we can change our hair if we wanted to. Oh, not by ourselves. Yeah, they got a sewing machine up here, so you guys can use all your QR codes and things. Alright. We're looking fly as fuck, Lottie. Let's see what we got going on now. What's popping off? 
Dude, I am here to learn about interior design. And Lottie is just as pumped as I am. <laughs> oh, that package is cute. <laughs> The client who lives here is a girl who is a fan of all things cute. She's requested a room with a lovely atmosphere, so let's turn this empty space into something lovely, shall we? First, let's see what's inside the cardboard box over there. To open it, just tap the rectangular block on the touch screen. An utterly charming room. Good job! That lovely love seat is actually one of the client's most prized possessions. You'll find clients often have pieces they're very attached to. They love it when you incorporate their pieces into their designs, so be careful to do so. Of course, you can't just plop furniture down in any old way and expect that to work. So let me explain how to change a piece of furniture's orientation. To do that, you tap the block on the touch screen like you just did before. Go ahead and give it a try. Oh. Great! You're a fast learner, I like that. Next up, let's talk about how to move things. It's a cinch. Just drag the block on the touchscreen wherever you want to place it. It's time for your first big decision. Where do you want to put that lovely love seat? All right. Dude, I got this. Let's put it here. Yeah, it's just like that. Now you know how to place an orient furniture like a pro, which you are, of course. But this room is going to need more than a single sofa before we can call it done. Tap the leaf on the touch screen to open furniture catalogs and select more items. Find a piece of furniture you like, tap it to select it, and put it in the pl someplace. That peasy. So, we don't have to, like... Okay, so it looks like we still have some of the collecting things to do, but it looks like the entire lovely set is already in our catalog. I don't know how we get new stuff, though. Alright. There you go. And that's how you choose furniture to suit your client's taste. But furniture isn't the only tool in the home designer's toolkit. Wall decorations are also important. Explore your options and pick out something snazzy. Uh, is price not an option in this game? That's kind of crazy. Wait, this is just all wall art. There's... That's not wallpaper. Okay, well, let's put on the lovely wall clock. A bold choice! I like it! It's amazing for me to see how different designers have such different senses of style. Oh, I almost forgot about wallpaper and flooring. Oh, I thought we were just looking at wallpaper. Those two crucial elements of home design. Open the wallpaper and flooring catalog using the home button and choose something you like. Once you make your choice, press a B or tap the back button at the top right of the screen to close the catalog. All right, so this is the lovely wallpaper. And for the floor, mm, this looks best. Look at that! Do you see how you can change rooms as you're just by changing the walls and floors? Now let's place a rug to complete the room's design. It's like a cherry on top of a sundae. This is easy peasy. Oh my gosh, that rug is so cute. Let's do large. Aw, oh, it's so cute! You, my dear, are a natural at home design. Amazing. Now to round out that training, why don't you go ahead and place any furniture you like? Feel free to take another look at the client's request whenever you want by tapping the note on the touch screen. Also, if you ever want to get rid of furniture that you've already placed, just drag the item to the trash can. Oh, there's one more thing. You can use the arrow button to change your point of view when looking around your room. I'm sure you'll get some new ideas when you change your perspective, so try different angles. Alright, Mortimer, now you can go about designing this room however you like. I'll play the part of the client here, so come and talk to me when you think you're done. This is easy. All right. Oops, not that. Are you, are you like holding a little iPad? That's so cute. All right. So let's let's put in the whole lovely set, shall we? Oops. This is really cute. Dude, you can never have enough tables in a room, right? Let's see. Cute. A little ottoman for people to sit on while they're on the couch. Man, I'm, I'm curious about how they're going to make this more challenging, because right now it just seems like you can just buy whatever you want to put in your room. Like, there's no... challenge yet. I wonder how they're going to 
Change it up. Back into the bed. Ooh, is that blocking that? Yeah, that's blocking that. All right. Uh. Hmm. I don't know about that. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll see what she says. We can't put it on the table, really? All right, I'll just put it here. There, all right, let's go talk to her. Oh, are you done already? All done. Excellent, it seems you've done a fairly decent job. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Fairly decent, who's she kidding? An utterly charming room. I guess that's our score. Aw, oh, dang. You can take pictures? Ah, oh, yes. You can't change the angle of the room, though. <laughs> so stylish. Much wow. Look at all that pink. Money can't buy style this good. Do you want a romantic vacation on the beach? Why not spend it the best way possible than in our honeymoon suite? I can't believe I get to live in such a lovely room. What? This room was for Lottie? Thank you so much. Oh, did I forget to mention this is actually my house? I just bought the place, but work has kept me so busy that I haven't had time to decorate. To tell you the truth, I've been cuddling up in a sleeping bag on the bare floor. Ridiculous. Oh my god, Lottie. She's stealing my heart already. But it looks like a little help from a promising new designer was just what I needed. I'll be sure to let the blast, the, the blast, the boss know that you passed with your training with flying colors. Now then, I think it's time we head back to the office. Let's go. All right, so uh, we we had our first task and we decorated our first room. Uh, so far, it's super adorable. I'm interested though to see where this goes and if the game becomes more challenging. So be sure to tune in next time to find out if it gets more challenging or not on the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it. See you guys all then.